One take, one take, one take, one take, Tuesday. Mm. Oh God, I gotta stretch. I was really hoping to kick this video off by saying, Do you feel that? Mm, do you feel that? That kick in the nuts? You know what that is? It's the kick in the nuts of nostalgia. But instead, I had to yawn, and because it's a one take Tuesday, well, I can't go back and do anything about it. I just can't. It's just the rules. Anyway, if you're wondering what this is, and you're like 12 years old, and your first Pokemon game was X and Y, then this, little children, is 4th gen. This is Diamond and Pearl. Came out in 2007. Can you believe it? You're probably about 5 years old. But uh, I played this as, as my first online Pokemon game, and it is still my favourite online Pokemon game. So I'm having a game against Nick, because when there's nothing else to do, you have a game against Nick, and I've already broken my sacred rule of, you know, talking about nonsense while the battle's going on, so let's talk about it. Alright, Uxie versus Arcanine. This is a roulette, by the way. Um, I set up rocks on turn one, and then he goes into Nidoqueen as I yawn it, and he sets up rocks of his own. So we both get rocks from a roulette, which is already just ridiculous. It makes zero sense, but hey, I guess we just both got lucky enough. So, um, you know, I decide to U-turn out just to find out whether he has leftovers or not, or black sludge, or whatever the hell that, that may be. Um, turns out he doesn't. Doesn't look like he's gaining anything back, but I have Mantla. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you one thing for sure. Mantla, actually, he does love leftovers. Wow. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. Uh, now I just paid attention. I guess Mantla was faster, but I uh, go to Mantler, who, if you don't know, is a legend of my fourth generation teams, and he never dies, and he's also just, he has this strange habit of showing up in every roulette I ever have. I don't know what it is. He just, uh, he just appears, and, and such is his way, so. I decide I am going to switch out on Chansey, because really I can't touch it. I have Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is pointless, because it's a Chansey, it can switch out and heal itself. Um, and Shadow Ball, it's immune to Thunderbolt's not going to do anything. I've already set up my Reflect, so my best switching is my Garchamp, which I thought before this battle was a Specs Machamp, which is why I gave it Specs. I get into the battle and I realise it's actually a sub-focus punch set. So I now have a Specs focus punching Machamp, but that's not going to stop me. Nope! Nope, I'm going to go for Focus Punch anyway, regardless, as he switches his Chansey out, and I smash the Nidoqueen on Switch in. Unfortunately, he got off the Aromatherapy uh, but while I switched it in, so he was able to, um, you know, eliminate the sleep on Nidoqueen, but that's fine. I'm going to just go for a Focus Punch again, because YOLO, fuck it, and I actually managed to get it off because he goes to the second layer of Toxic Spike. Fantastic. I was super pleased with that. I think this guy's actually Guts as well, because I was running sub Focus Punch, so no need for no guard when there's no dynamic punch around, so it probably was running guts, which is why it actually did a, a stinging amount to the Nidoqueen. Queen, so. Uh, at this point, I don't want to stay in, because that he's definitely going to attack me now. Either that, or he's going to pull a double switch, um, thinking that I'm going to go into something as well, so... I'm taking a look at my team, and I like this now, because I can record 4th gen on my capture unit, which is why, like, it's all in real time. It's like back in the days when I had the camera, but now I can actually capture it without having to worry about where the camera is and joggling it around, so... Uh, he ends up going for a Fire Blast as I switch into the Uxie, which can take those for days easily. It's so bulky. Man, Uxie, remember back in the day when Uxie could just come in and take hits? It could just take all the hits, now it's just... It just can't, it's not cut out for the current 6th gen meta, which sucks, but I go for the Yawn as he switches to Chansey, which was pretty obvious, but, uh, you know, I might as well try it out and see what I get out of it, and if he wants to stay in, hey, that gives me an opportunity once I U-turn into something to maybe set up, so I go for the U-turn, and thankfully, because 4th gen didn't have Eviolite, that U-turn does a pretty solid chunk, considering that A, I'm an Uxy, B, it's unstabbed, C, I have zero attack investment, like, lots of things going on there, and I was able to take a pretty good chunk out of it. Um, especially when I can go into Machamp for free after he stays in an s tosses, and now he's going to be asleep, meaning that once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the third time in a row, I'm going to be 100% guaranteed to get off an unprotected Focus Punch. I'm so happy. Apart from the fact that I'm an idiot, and I thought that he was going to switch into Nido Queen, so instead of doing that, I lock myself in on the payback and die to poison. So, well done, Zed. Round of applause for being an idiot and not taking the advice. Look, if you have the chance to do an unprotected focus punch, you damn well do it. You do it, all right? It's the rules. Just don't, don't fuck around. I'm not going to fuck around anymore. I'm bringing Goku in. He's going to go for the close combat and finish Chansey off and 
Nick's terribly spelt chlamydia will go down. I'm not going to be infected by that shit no more. Nope, not having it. It's not going to be on the agenda. So, uh, Chauncey out the way is uh, great news. It just means that I'm going to have a lot less trouble. And uh, goes into his Arcanine again, which, uh, taking heavy Stealth Rock damage, I want to force this thing to switch as much as possible, because uh, Stealth Rocks is going to take it down eventually. So I'm going to switch into my own Intimidator, Mantler himself, who uh, will get rid of, uh, you know, the bonuses he has. And then Nick goes for Willow, forgetting that he'd set up freaking Toxic Spikes, so whatever I switched in would be poisoned before I was be able to be burned anyway. So he made a stupid move there. Uh, but uh, now he's going to try a Flamethrower, see how much it does. But ladies and gentlemen, it's Mantler, I mean, come on! So powerful, so sturdy of body, he can take the flamethrower with utter ease, uh, paralyze, and completely um, nullify the effectiveness of the Arcanine in the process, uh, and still be at a chunky 171! You know, I'm being taken out by poison, of course, but if I switch out, let's reset the counter, um, and I go into my Feraligator Fusion Suit! Ah, yes, Metroid Fusion, such a fantastic game, one of my favorites, probably my favorite of all time. Um, and I am really in a position here where I can set up a sword stance, um, and hopefully he'll get paralyzed, and then I'll be able to, you know, be in a place where I can aqua jet and do all that stuff. He actually has hidden power, and I was really scared that that was going to be grass, and that my feral gator would die, but thankfully, it's a neutral hidden power, does nothing, and it also manages to bring me into torrent range, which allows me to go for the torrent boosted plus two aqua jet, finishing that arcanine off from full health, and I'm pretty sure that our canine was like a bulky set as well so that is a pretty impressive feat unfortunately i have life orb and the poison is racked up, so I'm going to lose uh, for Alligator, but I get to take out Arcanine in the process. So, uh, not all is lost, not all is lost. Unfortunately, I had two Focus Ashes on this team. One of them was the Infernape, which is a Stealth Rock lead, but I didn't get it as my lead in the Roulette. So, the other one is my TTFAF, which is my Gengar that I got from Maraland. Now, if you are a long-term watcher and you know my videos, you'll know that this Gengar has hidden power water. And that, my friend, is going to come in very handy because he brings in Nino Queen, and I laugh my fucking head off as I tell Nick that, in fact, this Gengar is carrying hidden power water, which is just amazing. I, I, you know, there are situations in battles where things go your way, and this, my friends, is just one of those. Oh, glorious. The power, give the power to HP water, my friends. Uh, fear not, it shall do you well. It shall indeed. So, in comes uh, this Drapion. Now, a bit of history here. Nick and I, the first ever roulette battle we had was m him using a Drapion. And I remember it for some reason. It, it, it did something in that game. But um, in this match, it unfortunately is not going to do a single thing apart from kill my Gengar. Because the Gengar is also carrying Destiny Bond. Which allows me to finish off the Drapion. And Nick cries. Oh, cries a long river down, down the street. So, fantastic. I was super pleased with that. Now I've got Mantler. It's coming down to like 3 versus 2 or something. We're getting close here. Um, Intimidate on the Heracross, which is fantastic. And I think I'm going to set up a Reflect here because, uh, you know, maybe he'll overpredict, go for a Mega Horn. Maybe he'll miss that. I don't know what he's going to do. He does. And well done, Zed, for being able to uh, dodge the. Yeah, it's Mantler. Actually, you know what? Don't thank me. Thank Mantler for being a genius uh, and being able to set up the Reflect in the meantime. And that's what he does. So um, now I'm going to go for a T Bolt. You know, trying to get some damage off. His last is a Jirachi, so he has Hera and Jirachi left, which both are actually susceptible to my Infernape. So, uh, depending on how things go, I may well be able to pull this out of the bag. I just need to be careful about it. Uh, I'm thinking here, because maybe if I pull the switch into... Um, I have something that can put it to sleep, right? I can't remember what it is. But I have something on this team that can put Jirachi to sleep. That's what I, I want to do. That's my intention. So, leave Mandler in for Death Fodder. Oh, Uxie, that's it. I can yawn it. Um, leave Mandler in for Death Fodder and then get the free switch into Uxie, who can go for the yawn and uh, put Jirachi to sleep. Now, I was really afraid here of him having sub, because showing Psychic and T-Bolt really made me think that he was running sub car mind. But maybe he was running, like, Super Rachi and was doing, like, a Wish variety with three moves, maybe, like, Grass Knot, perhaps. Um, but it turns out that I am able... 
to uh, force him to stay in and go to sleep. Uh, and that's fantastic because my last is Infernape. So if I go for U-turn here, uh, get the switch in on Infernape and go for the flamethrower, as long as he stays asleep for enough turns, I should be able to take out the Jirachi. And then he was talking about his Heracross being like a bulky set. So he's not going to be outspeeding me because he won't have Scarf. And I'll be able to just one hit KO that with Flamethrower as well because I'll be at the point where Tor uh, Blaze will be in range. So um, I go for the Flamethrower on Jirachi. I take it down a really good amount. And I'm hoping, please don't wake up. And it stays asleep. So looks like I've got this in the bag. Goku, go at ham. He's going to be able to finish off Rachi on this turn. And then the Heracross will come in. And I should be able to take that out as well. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's coming down here. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe my torrent, my Blaze range isn't going to make it. But it just about does. Blaze is at 97 HP. I'm a 95. So I'm good to go with the Flamethrower. Finish off the Heracross and end the game. Um, so, yeah, really fun roulette there with Nick. And I really enjoyed it. Um, so uh, I hope to have another one in the future because, uh, you know, fourth gen's going away and we're going to miss it quite a lot. It's going to be, um, it's going to be leaving our shores. So, uh, it's, it's a tough time. It's a tough time for us old fourth geners losing all this stuff. And apart from the fact that Nick is a fucking liar and a dickbag and he was scarfed. So thank you, Nick, for being a scarf. Scallywag. Thankfully, I live the Mega Horn. My last was Uxi, so the chances of me being able to stand up Uxi versus Heracross was pretty low. But the fact that I actually managed to live the Heracross's Mega Horn, which Nick lied to me about because he's a whore, uh, was great. So there you go. That was the game. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly loved doing this. A uh, huge old nostalgia kick for me, and I will be sure to be giving fourth gen a huge send off no matter what I decide to do. Um, you know, with this channel and everything, I am going to fucking send off 4th gen with a bang, with fireworks. So, look forward to more of that, look forward to more videos, and until next time, thank you so very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate all those comments you left on that video, and, um, you know, humbled me greatly. So, uh, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Until then, thank you, and uh, goodbye.